Good morning everyone from me and my big sleeves. How fabulous is this dress? And of course it will look far better in a second when I've got a bit of makeup on, but I mean this gorgeous like tulip neckline and these accentuated shoulders, the embellishment and the detail, the cutout work, the print of the fabric. But let me just move back a little to show you it. It's absolutely stunning. Valentine's Day dress potential. I wanted to do a bit of a makeup look because I've had a lot of people actually DM me asking me to do a bit of an updated kind of everyday routine, the sort of thing I would usually do. I've not really done that much makeup recently for you guys. So I thought I would do that and I'm gonna be using all products from Flannels. So this is gonna be an integrated paid for advertorial with Flannels, just this little section of the video. So all these items, I'll leave them all linked down below from Flannels, including this beautiful dress, which is also from Flannels, which is what I love about Flannels. You can get incredible luxury products and clothing in the same place. They just said to me, we'd like to choose some of your favorite products ever some products that you maybe you've never used before and we'd like to see you create a bit of a valentine's day makeup look so challenge accepted skin la mer renewal oil still one of my most favorite skincare products ever however i'm not going to open that bottle because i do have one here that is half used there's no point opening a brand new bottle when i have one right here it just adds so much glow and radiance into the skin and it provides a really nice base to add your makeup on top. That's why I'm just such an advocate for this. Also works so nicely when you finish your makeup, adding a little bit to the, the thickest part of your hand and then pushing it into your cheekbones for a really like, natural glow on there. I'm going to use the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in four. Might be a tiny bit too dark for me because I'm without tan right now, sounds tan. I like to everybody else. I'm a big fan of this new foundation. Quite lightweight, but buildable. It's a really gorgeous complexion. Feels very lightweight, fairly quick to apply. And how pretty, it's gorgeous. Okay, into a new concealer, nude sticks. They sell nude sticks at Flannels. And I must admit, every time I've tried nude sticks, I've really liked their products. I thought I'd try the concealer. Nice, cream concealer in nude three. I just took a stab in the dark with this one. Oh, didn't expect that. Did not expect that. Oh, this is nice. It's quite peachy. Feels like a really nice consistency as well. Oh, I am a fan of that. That is really nice. That's going straight into my drawer. Okay, big fan of that. All right then. Bronzer, Tom Ford bronzer. This is in shade Terra. Glow bronzer in Terra. I've definitely tried this a number of times before. I pretty much only use the Tom Ford contour palette. By the way, I know I should likely have stayed just in my robe to do this makeup look like I usually do. But in honesty, I've just been having a quite down few days. And this morning, I just wanted to get dressed into something nice, just to kind of perk up my mood. I must admit, yesterday was a worse day. And I've woken up today feeling a lot better, but I'm still, I don't know, I'm still feeling, feeling a little bit like, Pff. so today I thought, you know what, just go straight in with a good, beautiful dress and you'll feel better. So that's why, and luckily I've not got anything on it, so. So we're okay. I mean, I, I love that bronzer. I mean, it looks beautiful and natural, really beautiful and natural. It blends beautifully. It's not too crazy dark on my skin. It's just a gorgeous, subtle, glowy bronze. Blush, I'm excited about this. This looks like my kind of color. Nudies, nude sticks, nudies, all over face color, color in bare back. It's literally like my kind of nude pink lip shade that I love, straight on. And it also comes in the side with a brush, so you can brush this in, but you know what, I'm just going to use my fingers. Plus it makes it a bit more subtle, and you can build it up. I like this colour a lot, look how pretty that is. I'm go a little bit more over my eyebrow bone, I really like that, I like taking blush further up. Be pretty. Can you see what this looks like on the lips? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous on the lips. Like if I... 
Oh my gosh, I love that. Let me just quickly line. Iconic nude. Iconic nude is my favourite. Let's do add some structure. And that is a beautiful lip. Okay, I've just found a new favourite in this. That's absolutely stunning. Stunning. Um, some highlighter. Let's try this new highlight. I've not tried this before. Jouer. Jouer highlighter in Topaz powder highlighter. And it looks absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, why have I never tried this before? Much more natural on the skin. I really hate highlighters that look like caked powder. I'm so not into that vibe. When I've done all three, like contour, blush and whatnot, I always like to blend in all three. So I'm just gonna go over top with a brush and the, um, and the blush, it's a bit of the blush on the brush. Um, it just helps like melt everything together. In love with that, I'm absolutely in love with that, that kind of finish. And the skin looks really glowy and healthy. I have, I do actually have a lip though for, or for today, it's kind of similar. Um, Jouer Lip Cream and Ballerine, which used to be a fave of mine. I used to love this formula. Let's go down a little bit of that. Oh, that's so nice. I forgot how much I liked that. I'm going for a really like pinky feel here, if you couldn't, couldn't tell already. The eyes, I also went for Jouer. To be honest, I had a bit of a Jouer moment here looking through. Flannels have a lot of the best Jouer on there. So I got a little bit excited and thought, you know what, let's just try some things. So this is their Rose Gold Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. Look at that gold. The lightest shimmery, it's a bit more of a close up of the colours. Shimmery champagne up here. So it's through into the inner corner of my eye and over the first third. I'm gonna use this rose goldy style copper tone over this side. wow do you see that oh that went on beautifully that's what i want to do i want to kind of put a bit of this in between let's see what that looks like oh wow oh, it's like a lilac goes perfectly with this dress oh and it almost shifts it's like shifting i'm getting really excited right now okay let me just do a bit more right good copper on here see that is a smooth and beautiful payoff. Finish, it's just the most beautiful smooth. Look how, like, do you see what I mean by the sm It's like smooth, like, it's like silk. But then I'm going into this lilac shift in the middle and just go going over the middle of the two. And it, it's creating this like beautiful gradient shift. Love this accidental find. First of all, a brush just to go along the very top, super lightly, just to give that a blend out. Honestly, that eye's done. That eye's done, look how pretty. And that was all with, that was just with my finger. I mean, that's pretty great. Just for the sake of a tiny bit of structure, I'm literally just gonna go into a crease shade and that is it. Just for some structure through the crease, just because I like it for my eye shape, that, but that is it. Great, all I need to do now is take a little bit of the very darkest shade just to add some line to the very top lashes just for the sake of just a bit more structure tiny wing i always use a really flat brush for this sort of thing anything that's completely flat on top you can almost stamp it on i'm so happy with this it looks so pretty um an old favorite and i haven't had a bad gal bang from benefit for about two years, I just kept forgetting to buy one. So I was like, oh, an oldie and a serious, serious goodie. Bear in mind, I do also have LVL. So my lashes are going to be more up, but this is natural and this is bad gal bang. It's, it's almost like my usual everyday style of makeup, like the same similar techniques I'd usually use, but just with this like really beautiful eye, I'm absolutely like in love with it. I'm just gonna finish off with some face spray and my favorite, I have a brand new one, Patrick Tarfan. Oh, I've missed you. Done. A full Valentine's vibe makeup look. Look how beautiful the colors are. The lip, obsessed. The 
highlight the blush. It feels so pretty. And then this dress though. It's shoulders. <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, yeah, so I'll leave all of the products, all the makeup products, why don't I just hold this? I'll leave all the makeup products and the colours I use, I'll leave them all linked down below to flannels so you can go find them plus this dress. Um, right, the rest of the day I have a few things to shoot and a blog post to write actually, so it's going to be a busy day, but at least now I have my face on and I'm feeling really fabulous. Thought I'd check back in and say hi guys. It is now like four o'clock. It's been a really productive day today. Thankfully, far more productive than yesterday. Far better headspace than yesterday. I have, um, I've even washed, dried, and made my hair all lovely since I last saw you for a hair campaign that we've been working on. So that took a couple of hours to film that. And uh, what else have we been doing? I filmed two reels, did two photo shoots as well. And now I'm going to sit down with Bo in the lounge, get myself a glass of smoothie and write a blog post for an upcoming skincare campaign. Um, like, like I keep saying, it's like really busy at the moment, but it's all incredible campaigns with products that I love and have used for years and years. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Like I started, I mean, I started this job as a blogger to write about products that I loved in the hopes to recommend them organically and then the fact that nine years later and I get to talk about these these incredible products still but I'm you know I'm asked to write about them and I'm commissioned to write about products or to talk about products and oh it still doesn't get old for me it's extremely um very it's very very cool I feel very lucky I thought that my good mood today deserved this orange jumper <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm really going to attempt in this vlog to make sure that this camera is perfectly set up and not going blurry and focusing on the background and not my face. <laughs> I've just had a text from Alex who's editing the last vlog right now and he's like, loads of it's soft, loads of it isn't in focus, we need a new camera, I'm gonna have to rebuy the camera, I think I've obviously dropped it or something has happened and it's just kind of become a little bit unsure of itself. Anyway, back to the task at hand. I've just checked in for a little overnight stay at Coworth Park. It's not too far away from London, which is wonderful, so it's not taking me too long to get here. And it's just a lovely one night stay to catch up with the Jimmy Choo beauty girls. Amelia is also on her way here, so it's literally gonna be a very chilled out catch up with all the girls. They thought that rather than having like a meeting elsewhere in London, like a little sit down lunch, it would just be nice to kind of take us all away, a little bit out of London, somewhere very relaxed and properly catch up. Just checked into my room to give you a little look. Very cozy. I have a big dress here that I need to shoot with. Kenneth Green team also look after a number of other brands as well. So Roger and Gallet being one. So they've got some lovely little products left out here for me, which is just so, so sweet of them. They also look after Furla. So they've left me uh, an eau de parfum. Oh gosh, look. Even a Mont Blanc scent as well. And a Furla bag, completely unexpected and extremely extremely lovely of them. Then we have the gorgeous Jimmy Choo Beauty. If I've not shown you before, the packaging is honestly divine. And the lipsticks, which I have shown you before, these were inside of my Flannels Beauty Kit. One of these beautiful pink lipsticks was inside of there. So you'll have seen that packaging then, but honestly, I've said it before, but this packaging would cost so much to create and design and to make. And so I really appreciate how much has gone into the design of this beautiful piece of beauty. Scented sleepover, how sweet. This is really, really lovely. Um, just to show you today's outfit, I'm wearing my Fendi jumper underneath my Prada beige jacket, gorgeous little vibe hobo bag from Dior um, into my Victoria Beckham leggings, which I don't really ever take off. And then these beautiful boots. Where did I get these from? I think these are Paris, Texas. Yes, Paris, Texas boots. So it's a bit of a beige and black vibe today. 
Anyway, on my way in, I saw Vinny from the team, so I'm just gonna go down and get a coffee with her and wait for Bryony to get here. So we currently so have a spritz delivery where I get to try all of these little perfumes. So these are all, um, these are all looked after by Kenneth Green Associates, plus this one. Look how cool this Montclair bottle is. It's so different. And apparently you can, you can hook this up to your phone and then put anything on here as a little message. This is so nice. So this is a little spritz delivery. So I can try any of these and then very kindly get to choose one to take home with me. So, so far we've tried this one. What did we think, B? I liked it. Yeah, it it's nice. What I was expecting. I was expecting it to be really like deep and musky, but it's more like I white, it's be very... white musk, vanilla-y, light. Oh no, this is a female fragrance. I was thinking this was a male's yeah. fragrance. That's why I was thinking that. This is nature's spirit, apparently. Smooth and cool. It's creamy scent, creamy. Yeah. Oh, that isn't legend then. No, bergamot, oh. jasmine, mountain woods accord for comforting trail. That's why it, we were oh, thinking it was a male fragrance that would be really deep. So that's the first one. Okay, next up, look at <laughs> this. Wow. So this is Kenzo. Friendly tipple, bright and floral, rose, vanilla, and white musk. Oh, I might like this then. Does this just like come off the top? Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah, very Kenzo. Wow. Oh, I need one of these. What does this remind me of? It reminds me of something. You get definitely get the rose and the white musk. Oh, I can smell what? it from there. Can you? Mm. Oh, it's, it's nice. It's really light mm. and quite fresh, isn't it? Um, I mean, Jimmy Choo, obviously I know this one really well. I've got this with me, so obviously that's an amazing one. Gutal, Folly Dun Soi. This is deep and spicy with Turkish rose leather and cocoa. Transported to the rich flavors of Egypt. Yeah, I wonder what this is made of. I'm guessing it's faux. Little faux yeah, fur pom -pom. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what to expect with this. I've never, I've never seen this brand. Ooh, I like that. That's like a woody fireplace, and you're drinking like a really sweet bourbon whiskey. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? Mm. I think Alex would love that. Yeah, you would. Yeah, okay, that's my favourite so far. That's my favourite so far. And this one is... Jukuru? Gyu... Jukuru. Jukuru. Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of this Sorry. either. Tea tonic. Refresh the senses with this Far East tea inspired aroma. Black pepper green tea and cashmere wood. I'll put it on. I'll put this... I'll put this here. Oh, it is really fresh. What is that? Is that the green tea? Oh yeah, Sm smell my sleeve. <laughs> smell my sleeve. <laughs> oh yeah. That's totally like different that, yeah. again. It's like fresh like that. tea. Yes. It is. Oh, which is your favourite there? Um, Your arms aren't getting too sore, are they? No, I'm good this. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think I think my favourite is this Gutal. Yeah, Don't you I think? agree. I'm going to put the lid for this. This has been so nice. I think this is my favourite one. Would you yeah, say the same? I agree. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, guys, this is my new blue suit. I've talked about this so many times on my stories, and you guys enabled me. Well, the majority enabled. I think 75% voted that I needed to get it. Um, it's, I mean, it's so me. Look at this waist, the way it pulls in the waist. Oh, it's so great. Uh, me and B have just been chatting about it. I'm gonna literally, I'm gonna have these tailored, if you can see me with the umbrella stand. I'm gonna have these tailored like two inches higher, so a little bit shorter, and then I think they'll be absolutely perfect. But Jimmy Choo's little sparkly band. A little stack of my Veneto and my Luxor necklace. I'm really quite liking this stack at the moment. This is great. Lights off. You oh. is this. We are at a gorgeous dinner in this beautiful barn. It's so cozy and cute. And I'm so happy that I have Hazel. Hello! Amelia with me. 
This is just so special that we just catch up now in the countryside, don't we, babe? And look how gorgeous this, this gorgeous is. Look at Amelia's choice. Oh, this looks cheese. absolutely amazing. See, I was going to go for that. I've gone for the soup. It also smells great, though, actually. This smells fantastic, but I am really quite jealous. You can have, I'm, be, I'm not going to be able to finish this. Cute. Maybe like teaspoon yeah. for maybe. Oh, yeah, good oh, I just told Amelia that I'm changing my handle on Instagram. <laughs> She's downing her wine. She has saved as Victoria Fro in my phone and that is what you will remain. <laughs> and Bo is Bo Fro and Alex is Alex Fro and I can't believe you're not in the Fro. <laughs> What's that? I feel like a tissue. <laughs> I believe we've been sat here for like three hours before I haven't said anything to so, By the way, guys, tomorrow I'm changing my handle. I was like, what? It's, it's big news. Let's get you another glass of wine. If you're happy, I will I will find a way to be happy for you. <laughs> but I will warn in the pro first. Oh, no! <laughs> How's everyone going to do in fashion week when you're sat in the pro? And everyone's like, in the pro, in the pro. I don't know to make that joke anymore. I don't think anyone ever made that joke in the first place. <laughs> I think two people made that joke, and then afterwards, the times I wasn't in the throw, people were like, haha, in the throw's in the second row. <laughs> oh, God. No, I can't regret it. It's, it's, it's exciting news, but no regrets. Back home after a really lovely trip. Me and Amelia just had a really nice breakfast together this morning, and uh, followed by a very lovely massage at the spa at Coworth Park, and it was just heavenly. Feeling a lot better now for that, although it's kind of just made me extremely tired and sleepy, but never mind. Back at the house though, and the light is so beautiful today. And do you want to go outside? So, okay, I really want to show you guys around all of the updates in the garden. Um, I know I showed you a little bit last week, but it wasn't quite finished at that point. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly show you all of the lovely updates that we've made. Starting around this side, um, annoyingly we cleaned this and it was perfect and then a bird came along and did his business <laughs> which is such a shame but otherwise um, we've cleaned up all the beautiful Caesar stone worktop um, we actually had a piece of glass cut for on top of this just as like an extra protective barrier because above it we have these trees that have berries in them um, which is a shame really because otherwise the Caesar stone would be absolutely fine like it's it's made for being outside it doesn't stain it doesn't have any issues um but we were just worried about the berries hitting it all the time and obviously if we can't get out to clear them up we thought let's just get a piece of glass cut i mean to be honest i don't think we really need it but we're going to leave it on there for now um maybe until summer and then we can always move it off there but it's a nice little protector for in the winter i um, also got the big green egg here I need to show you that properly because obviously we've not even shown you this yet um, and also we, we do have the unit that's going to go here this O fire unit that I have it's just in the garage but here we've got this lovely little garden section with, with this eumonymus hedge here and a multi-stem birch tree some grasses and some ferns in there so that'll just grow beautifully I do also want to have all of this fence painted in a beautiful sage green colour so it just feels a little bit more bright and airy back here um, oh gosh, this light is just exceptional. Obviously we've got the gorgeous Neptune table, not yet been used, but cannot wait to use it. Just a few little bits have been planted here and there. This is an orange tree that we had in our orangery for a year or so and then we put it outside and it's kind of still alive and we don't really understand why. <laughs> And then this, this little guy over here, this is a vintage piece that I bought from this gorgeous vintage Instagram. I'll, I'll leave a link down below for them. But yeah, this is a, this is from Wigan, the Oldfield Brewery. And I thought it was a really cool vintage piece, obviously from my hometown. So love that, just gorgeous bench from Amara, from a Scandinavian brand. And again, I love the shape, I love the colour, it fits perfectly here. In between my two Chinese wine urns. So these are both wine urns um, that have been shipped over from China, vintage. And we've had these laurel, little laurel bushes on stems potted into those. So they look absolutely gorgeous. Hey gorgeous boy. Do you want me to throw your ball? Get your ball, get your ball. Come on. 
<laughs> then we've got our yew cones, Eumonymus hedge all along the edge of here that's going to grow up lovely. We just need to redo the grass soon. We're going to kind of reseed a lot of the grass and just make it really lovely and much more green again. Then around here, so we walk around here and we have hydrangeas, currently just sticks, but they will look amazing, Annabelle hydrangeas. So the Annabelles will come all the way around the edge of the house. So in spring, summer, they'll look unbelievable. Got little yew balls in these grey urns. Rose bush that we are hoping to grow all the way up this side of the wall. So obviously we've had all of these sections put in. Sorry for repeating myself. I'm just trying to do this in a bit more detail this time. This little ivy plant here with our two little two-seaters for our coffee mornings. Get another yew ball. This is a wisteria. My mum got me this for Christmas. So wisteria with Annabelle's all the way around and then a wisteria on this wall too. The idea being that they both are going to grow up the wall all the way up to the top of the house, hopefully. Then here we have the olive tree um, that I always wanted. I've named her Medusa. She's absolutely stunning. She's enormous and this pot is enormous. This pot is a metre tall just to give an idea of size. Um, but yeah, I always want an olive tree just in this corner getting all the sun so I just absolutely love her. And then again around here we've got all of the Annabelles, we've got another rose here that's going to climb up this wall. So again by spring summer things will start to become a lot more busy and textured. And then the Annabelles stop here. And then here we move into our fruit trees. We've got two pear trees, two, two apple trees. A couple of bits of lavender and things down here. And then in my, then this is my raised bed section. And we've got the jasmine either side that's gonna start growing up the trellises either side. I have these three that I'm gonna start potting some veg in. Uh, this one I have for my cutting flowers. So at the moment I've got some daffodils and tulips growing. And I'm also going to plant. I'm also going to plant two peony bushes in here as well. But yeah, the world is my oyster when it comes to vegetables. <laughs> I'm thinking I want to do one box for leaves, like spinach and rocket. Maybe a few herbs, but we are going to put a herb trug elsewhere as well. Um, and then one of the one of the boxes I want to do for maybe beetroot, broccoli maybe some tomatoes in some as well. It's a few of my faves I'd really like to kind of have in here. A lovely size and the thing I love about these raised beds is that they've got such a fantastic height that you, it's literally seating height. Sit here and lean in and do my work without having to like crouch over. So I love that aspect. We're also just waiting on, so for this window here I've bought some shutters already, they're already in the house. I'm going to put some shutters on here I'm going to paint this door and then we have a gorgeous big planter that I've, I'm having made bespoke. A big planter that I'm going to put there at the end and I'm either going to put hydrangeas in there or I'm going to put some more salad leaves. But along the edge of this fence we have jasmines that are going to grow up. There's three of them along here, so three different jasmines and then these little grasses, I'll be honest I'm not too sure what these grasses are but there should be a lovely kind of rusted colour. Yeah, so I love this section. And then this is my favourite section. The, this is the fire pit. So this was actually a gift from Charlie and Josie, this beautiful winter plant. What is it called again? It's called a... I'm so bad at this. But yeah, Josie and Charlie brought us this gorgeous plant. So I've potted it in this big pot. And then here we have another two fabulous um, balls on stems in the big pots again and then we've actually just potted a few older trees because these bay trees this bay tree was here when we bought the house i thought let's repot it and make it like try and grow it back to life again and this one again is an olive tree that we had in the orangery that we've left outside and somehow it somehow survived and the other day i looked at it and it seemed to have an olive on it there look an olive, like, I can't actually believe it's growing an olive. I'm honestly shocked. We thought this was at death's door, so we've given it another chance at life. And again, this is a Helleborus. This is a Helleborus plant that um, ooh, my brother's girlfriend very kindly bought us this for Christmas. So again, this is beautifully potted in this, in this pot. 
so um so that just leads us to this side of the garden and on this side of the garden again that eucone eumonymus hedge along here a herbaceous border that they've planted up for us with lots of different ferns and grasses and different plants um, that i'm looking forward to seeing grow <laughs> and then we've got clematis here as well they've wired up all of this section of the fence as well so that we've got a number of clematis going along here but we also have our laurel screens so these are beautiful screens on two meter long sort of pleached stems and these should hopefully grow lovely and thick and create a full screen just to give us a bit more privacy in the garden but they're absolutely beautiful like the color of these leaves are stunning so yeah our little herbaceous border around here it's already growing a little bit actually which is quite nice to see yeah and the herbaceous border goes all the way around around the trees each of the trees all of the grass has kind of died here which is a shame but like i said we're going to completely reseed and get the grass looking brand new again another clematis and then finally we've just had these six laurel bushes put in here which should hopefully grow lovely and tall and thick and again create a really beautiful laurel screen along here so that is the garden tour guys a little outside of the house all of the plants and everything else and i'm just absolutely thrilled so thrilled with everything and we had lavender lavender's been put all the way along the wall so that's going to grow beautiful and big yeah it'll just be so nice to sit here and eat dinner and have the little lights on above all the festoon lights on above and have alex cooking us like barbecue food love it out here i just come out here now with Bo, and i just walk around take it all in especially at night when all the lights are on it's really quite something i'm so happy honestly we cannot get him to come inside now genuinely getting him to come inside is one of the hardest things to do he absolutely loves it out here now <laughs> Morning guys, how are you all doing? I mean, I've been taking pictures in a bathtub for an upcoming blog post and I had my hair in the bath, etc. So I've not had time to wash it because I'm too busy. And so I'm hoping this actually dries somewhat nice because it's just been sat in, in bath water with soap in it. So let's see what happens, shall we? I need to properly unpack from my trip away. So currently everything is everywhere and you can't really see from that camera but down here is all of my unpacking that I need to do. Also, I've just had a, I've just had a delivery, I've been waiting for this for uh, a couple of weeks actually. I figured it was about time that I invested in a professional steamer because obviously I have my clothes up here. And, I, and it's been fine, I've been using like a handheld steamer to steam all of my clothes, but it's not quite the same as having a proper stood up steamer that's got loads of water. I don't have to keep going back and forth to the bathroom to fill up a little tiny water holder each time. So I've treated myself to one from the steamery. The Stratus, number two, professional steamer. making this up as I go along. I mean, there is an instruction manual, but... Look at that. Great, happy with that. We have a very exciting furniture moment happening right now. So in our new bedroom that we've been decorating and having um, made really, really different and really lovely, we just had the rug arrive. So this is a rug from unnatural flooring. So everything that they do is made, made to look like natural, like jutes or sisals. And instead of it actually being that, it is made of a more durable and wearable type of fabric. And so we thought this would be the perfect option to have up here rather than you know, something that could potentially get a little bit dirty for the future. So this kind of like wipes clean and washes really, really well. The really good thing about it is that you can get, you can go up to four meters wide 
on one side and then as long as you want on the other side. So which works perfectly with this room because it's like four meters wide by a certain amount. So I thought I'd show you as we unroll this rug. It's so, I mean, it's so long that we've just had to try and get it up the stairs. Don't know how I've managed it. We just about managed to fit it up the stairs. I'm just thinking I still can't show the furniture that's here because it's still embargoed. So I'm gonna have to do this in the best way possible. And then of course I can show you the full room when it's done, but I just want to show you the rug. Very quick sneak peek. I'm so sorry, I can't show you the furniture yet, uh, but I will, hi, I will show you as soon as I can. Um, but we do now have this beautiful rug down and we are thrilled to bits. Very annoyingly put it in the wrong way around. What you said. <laughs> because, the, si the size this way is almost the same as this way, apart from maybe about 10 centimetres. So we put it one way and of course it was too big. So we're going to have to roll it back up and start again. And this thing is heavy, uh, but it looks so brilliant. Sorry if it's making your eyes a bit funny. Um, so I'll show you a bit closer there. We went, I wanted to go for this natural and black kind of grey tone stripe to match with the aesthetics in here. I've not really even shown you, but let's just give you a little quick sneak peek of the black walls. Um, and then we went with this dark black siding around the outside. It looks absolutely brilliant. I mean, compared to, I mean, it, me and Alex were just talking about this and this obviously is kind of the feel of these floorboards. You either want to go extremely perfect or people don't mind that kind of battered up floorboard effect. So I think in this room, it's not that big a deal to have a bit of the floorboards here. Obviously, just, they just need a bit of a clean, but otherwise these bits of chips, I don't think we really mind them. I think it kind of will add to this, the style of this room. But um, yeah, I'll leave a link down below guys for unnatural flooring. We have this one, like I say, and I have another one on route for the bedroom that's in a really gorgeous cream color. And again, there's just so many benefits of this product. Like I said, it's just a lot easier to keep clean. It's not made in natural materials, so it's just a little bit more hard wearing. Like this isn't going to, um, you know, we're not going to be able to pull this and tear at it the way that you could with the jute and, you know, things won't unravel the same. Um, also makes it a little bit more affordable. And like I say, the fact that you can have it four meters wide by however long you want. If you've got a big room, you can pretty much carpet it. And that's pretty much what we've done. We've left a border of about five centimeters around the whole room and that is all. So to show you that side, you know what I mean? So it's only just left this little bit of an edging. Um, I'm also changing this radiator soon to a beautiful cast iron black radiator. So it'll look really in fitting. So this room is really transforming. So as soon as I'm, as soon as I'm able to show you a full vibe of this room, I promise I will. It's looking really, really great. I'm just sorry I can't, um, the, I just can't show you the furniture yet. They're launching sometime in February. Um, the date is um, TBC, but I thought it was next week. It's not, I think they are pushing back a little later, but it's gonna be in February. So that's quite exciting. So I can show you then.